Why does Mars have two moons? Mars has two small moons, Phobos and Deimos. These irregularly shaped cratered rocks resemble asteroids more than typical moons. Scientists believe Mars's gravity snatched them long ago, or they formed from debris after a massive impact. Unlike Earth's round prominent moon, Phobos and Diamus are tiny, resembling cosmic potatoes. Phobos orbits so close that it's slowly spiraling toward Mars, destined to crash or form a ring in millions of years. Deimos, farther away, is gradually drifting outward. Hmm. Why does the moon shine? The moon shines because it reflects sunlight, unlike the sun. The moon produces no light of its own. Its surface, covered in dust and rocks, reflects about 12% of the sunlight that hits it. This reflected light travels to Earth, making the moon visible in the night sky. The moon's brightness varies based on its phase, which depends on its position relative to the Earth and sun. A full moon appears brightest because the entire side facing Earth is lit. Hmm. Why does the sun appear yellow? The sun gives off white light, which is made of all colors. <laughs> when this light enters Earth's atmosphere, tiny air particles scatter shorter wavelengths, like blue and violet, more than the longer ones like yellow, orange, and red. This is why the sky looks blue, because blue light gets scattered all over. But when we look at the sun itself, most of the scattered blue is missing. Also, our eyes aren't great at seeing violet, so we mainly perceive the remaining light as yellow. Mm. Why does Saturn appear yellow? Firstly, Saturn looks yellow because of the gases in its atmosphere, like ammonia and methane. These gases scatter sunlight and absorb certain colors, leaving behind the yellowish glow we see. Mm. Secondly, the clouds and storms on Saturn also reflect huh? sunlight in a way that makes the yellow color stand out more. Why does Saturn have so many moons? Firstly, Saturn is the second largest planet in our solar system, with a strong gravitational pull that can capture passing <laughs> objects like asteroids and comets and turn them into moons. Hmm. Secondly, during the solar system's formation, Saturn's massive size allowed it to accumulate a large amount of material in its orbit. Some of these chunks of rock and ice coalesced into moons over time. Hmm. Lastly, it is believed that Saturn's early moons may have shattered into pieces after colliding or straying too close to Saturn. Hmm. Why is Jupiter stripey? The stripes or bands seen on Jupiter are actually cloud formations in its upper atmosphere, composed mainly of ammonia crystals and ammonium hydrosulfide. The light-colored bands are called zones and they show regions where the gas is rising. The dark-colored bands are called belts and they show regions where the gas is sinking. These bands are believed to be caused by the strong east-west winds flowing on Jupiter. Why does Jupiter appears to be flashing? Jupiter appears to be flashing because of the following reason. Usually when a small asteroid or comet collides with the Jupiter's atmosphere, it burns up upon impact and creates a bright flash of light in the process. Basically, the effect is similar to when a large meteor enters and burns up in the Earth's atmosphere. Huh? Now, this happens quite often on huh? Jupiter as its strong gravitational pull attracts a lot of debris from space. Hence, Jupiter appears to be flashing. What is the Jupiter's Great Red Spot? Jupiter's Great Red huh? Spot is a giant storm that is about 1.3 times the size of Earth. It is located in the Jupiter's southern hemisphere. 
winds inside the Great Red Spot can reach speeds of up to 400 miles per hour. The Great Red Spot rotates counterclockwise, indicating that it's a high-pressure system. The Great Red Spot's long lifetime may be due to Jupiter's gaseous composition and lack of a solid surface to dissipate the storm's energy.